hi guys it's Audra and I have another haul video it is back to school time and I know I've mentioned this before it is like my favorite time um, for shopping I love back to school um, and ever since I was little I've loved going back to school and I think it was one of those things where like my mom would take me shopping for new school supplies and I really could get what I wanted, not just like, you know, you need a new pair of shoes and I didn't really want a new pair of shoes because I like my old shoes, but you know, this was a everything's fresh and new and pretty and so yeah, I kind of went back to school shopping again. Um, I know in some of my planner hauls I've shown like back to school stuff too, but um, still collecting stuff as a teacher and this is a massive massive haul um, if you didn't get that idea from the intro um, so here is my big old bag it's one of the Publix bags and it is full okay and I got this I got all this stuff at Publix and Walmart um, Publix had some things on sale Walmart has some things on sale and it's also um, in Florida back to school like tax-free holiday so school supplies electronics um, clothing that sort of thing anything for back to school is tax-free so we don't have the 7% sales tax so let's get into this and I don't have my phone I was gonna bring my phone over because I got a lot of post-it notes. Um, but I was gonna count up exactly how many. What I'll probably do is actually like count it up and put it down here and like a little, what are those called? Subtitles, caption, something, I don't know. Okay, so I got post-its. I got these post-it -note, post note cubes. Um, as you can see, they're a couple different colors. There's blue, pink, and orange. And there's a very little blue, a little more pink, and a whole bunch of orange. Um, there are 400 in one of these. And I've got, there's, no, that's a different one. Okay, here's another one. So that's two. I don't know, there, I got posted, posted, posted everywhere. Um, here's another one that's blue, light blue, dark blue, and pink. Um, here's another one. This is really cool. It's got pink, white, green. These are really cool. Um, I'm telling you, I'm still not going through it. Here's another one. It's kind of a teal, I guess, teal green, a light blue, and then like a lime green yellow um i got all of those okay so i have one two three four five of those so what's that two thousand um and yeah that's it um i think i don't know um and then i got the pop-up notes these are the ones that kind of you know one after the other kind of thing there are four pads with a hundred each so there's a total of 400 in here and it's the pink the orange sorry this is like really bad um the light blue and that lime greeny yellow and i got two of those here's another one so then Walmart had a sale on the regular packets of post-it notes. So there's 90 in each of these and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
11. I got 11 of those, unless I find some more in here. And basically, um, I need that many because I have 80 something students I know for sure. Um, and this is to help with their ticket out the door. Um, I know a lot of teachers, what they'll do is they'll actually have them like rip off a piece of paper or something like that. That annoys me because then it's like this tiny little strip like this big and they're trying to write everything in there and it doesn't work. So I'm just going to give them post-it notes. Um, also that way I'm probably going to have like a sheet, like a large sheet of chart paper and then as they're walking out they could just stick them up there. Um, and then I got two of these mini uh, post-it cubes and again it's the light blue blue and the pink um, there's 400 in each of these and this is kind of I think more for like planning and that sort of thing maybe even um, posting in it like uh, um, you know I need to call a parent and I'll use these and I'll tape it to my computer screen okay so scotch tape I got scotch tape I go through this in class like crazy um, because it never fails that kids as much as you know you tell them just tape the stuff in your notebook and then leave it they will continue to play with it and they'll like pull out long strings and tie them around their fingers and stuff and I think I got eight one two three four five six seven eight so that'll last me all of about two days but oh well more post-its but these are like notepad post-its um they are can you see they are orange pink and kind of yellow for the most part okay so i got those and there are 135 total and this is more for i know i have at least two to get out the doors that require more space. So I got those for that. And then I also got these ones. That's the yellow, the green, and the blue. All right. I got, I found this. Um, it's a stamp stack stamper. That's all it says. Um, they are stamps the lighting is just so bad here so they're stamps they're stackable um, they say great job please sign and return and terrific um, what I do with these is I actually I give my students a study guide for a test when we're doing like a real multiple choice assessment type thing um, or even a short answer assessment but when it's actually like what they think of as a test. I give assessments all the time. They don't think of them as tests. But when I give them a test, I give them a study guide two or three days before. I allow them to work on it in class for a day. They take it home to finish it. Then the next day we go over the answers. But what I do is I have them all take them out. And if they've gotten at least halfway through it, then I give them a stamp for credit. Um, they have to show that they at least attempted to answer the questions and this is kind of one of those like really low percentage type assignments um, but if they at least tried it they get a stamp then we go over the answers so they can take it home with the correct answers to study and then when they come in on test day they turn in the study guide and if they have a stamp they get full credit and if they don't have a stamp, then I think I take 20 or 30% off, something like that. So I've got that. Um, I found these at Walmart. They are, how about I do this? They are peel and stick sentence strips. Ooh. Um, use on smooth surfaces. So it's like they're a big post-it, all sticky thing. I got two of them. Um, normally my word wall um, for vocab and stuff I make everything I have this um, quote 
that says expand your universe and then I have planets and asteroids and comets and all this stuff and then I write the vocab words in it and it worked really well when I was doing astronomy. This year I'm not doing that. Also it takes a lot of time to make all those planets and asteroids and comets and everything else. So I decided this year I'm going to use these. <laughs> make my life a little easier. I'm like the only teacher who didn't and ooh, sorry I moved my foot. Um, I got rulers, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, I got six this year, um, rulers are tough for me because I use them a lot in class, um, we're always measuring stuff, I mean, we're science class, of course we are, um, but they break all the time, and traditionally I always had wood ones, but students break them. They um, basically, you know, the wood ones will have like a little plastic strip here, right, to keep it flat. And they pull it out and then all the wood around that starts to chip and break and it's just a mess. They'll probably break these too, but they're cheap and I have a few more that were salvageable from last year, so it's just some extras. And I got purple, and I got green, and I got pink. And they don't match my room, but there's not much I can do about that, is there? Oh look, another one, I had 12. I thought I got an even number. I was pretty sure about that. Um, Cause I think they were like four for a dollar or something like that at Walmart. Okay, so then I got page flags. Ooh. And this is for pro more like my teacher edition type thing. And I got a bunch of them because they were cheap. Um, so I was just thinking like flag my teacher edition, um, anything like that. I didn't want to get into this right now. Okay, pencils. These are just, I don't know, case mate fashion pencils. And I traditionally like to keep it all blue or yellow, but I have some purple and silver and teal and all that. So you can see they come in a bunch of different designs. There are 12 in a bag, and these are my loner pencils. I know that mine look like this because no one else gets these. They always get the mechanical pencils. I like these. and. Again, I always get my pencils back, but I do loan them out enough that like they get really short. And so I have to go through them all the time. But um, I loan them out with a shoe and you have to give me one, not two. You're not walking around my classroom barefoot. And um, there are times I had one student who everybody's like, no, do not let him take his shoes off. Oh my gosh, his feet stink. Oh my gosh, the whole room will stink. Ugh. I'm like, then someone loan him a pencil. <laughs> he always got loaned a pencil. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I got those. So those are 24. Then I got some of these. There are, it's the same case, mate. There are 30 in here. And I like to give away um, like holidays and stuff. I'll give away like a little card with like a pencil or eraser or, you know, something small and inexpensive. And so I got these and there's a bunch of different designs and they're bright colors. I don't want to go open that side. Um, so they taped it down so hard. Um, I'll give them away. Also, I was considering, this is really loud, it does not want to open. I was considering, and still am considering, doing a prize box of some sort, like a treasure box. Um, maybe even, and I'll talk to my team about it, doing like maybe a prize store or something. Um, so... Oh, these are even pre-sharpened. I didn't even notice. Yay. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many different types in here. I gotta make sure I get one of each to show you. Is that it? Okay, so there's only four different designs, right? Oh, 
That doesn't make sense though. That there would only be four. Ooh, no, I am missing one. Five. And that makes more sense because that divides evenly. So here are the different designs. Mm. Woohoo! And again, these would just be treasure box or prize store or whatever it is that we're going to be doing. It's weird being in a new team at a new age level trying to figure out what works. Um, then I got these. It's the same thing. Case mate, 30 count. Different designs. Oh, let's see what they got in here. <laughs> oh, cool. The erasers are even like neon. That's so cool. So, let's see. They have a bunch of different designs in here. These are so cute. They're probably a little more girly. But I'm probably going to have to take all these out. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of them in here. So, there's 30. So... What would be a good number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's got to be one more. There it is. So there's ten. Ten different designs. Well, let's go through this. So we have the stripey stripe with a neon yellow. Does that help? I don't know. It's just probably the lighting is in the wrong angle. All right. We have hearts Doo -doo -doo -doo. with a, a pink eraser we have lollipop suckers candy with blue and a pink eraser we have if it'll come um what is this leopard print something with an orange eraser we have cupcakes pink cupcakes with a green eraser. We have zebra tiger stripes blue with a blue eraser. We have polka dots within dots with a pink eraser. We have pink peace signs blue with different color peace signs with a yellow eraser. We have, what is this? Ice cream cones and popsicles. Ice cream cones, popsicles, that sort of thing with a blue eraser. And then we have like a alligator skin purple. It's probably a little harder to see. Um, I hope if I cover my face. Uh, with a purple eraser. So, I thought those were cute. They'd be great. Like I said, Christmas, I give like little, you know, Christmas, you know, holiday cards and little thing or Valentine's Day, something like that. Um, I like to give something. Then I got another one and I got this set last year actually and the kids really liked them. I gave them away at Valentine's. They really liked them. Um, so what do we have in here? Ooh, we have another 30 count. This one, I don't know who makes this. It doesn't say who makes it. Walmart.com is all it says. Okay. I guess it's the Walmart brand pencils. These are not sharpened. And we have a tie-dye. Is this mood change? No. So we have a tie-dye one with a blue eraser we have this like little it's just lines of color with a green eraser this one it's almost like a galaxy type design if you can see that and it fades from green to yellow and it has a yellow eraser we have another zebra slash tiger stripe Right, with a green eraser we have tiger that's all I can say about that right it looks like a tiger with an orange eraser 
we have ooh these are like cheetah or what i i really need to look up my animals a little bit more they're like that cheetah print which ones have the dots in them i think it's cheetah or leopard has the dots in it cheetah does not something with like a light pinkish purple eraser more of those we have the circles the black and white circles with a white eraser um and last one we have the again cheetah leopard print craziness i don't know this one's a little bit crazier as you can see with a blue eraser so again prize boxes or prize store or something i don't know we're, we're getting to a point where it's like it's middle school and we're kind of fighting we are we're kind of fighting over like what we should do disciplinary wise and pbis the uh, positive behavior enforcement strategy or whatever it's called um but with middle school the positive doesn't work as well like it really doesn't um i did all kinds of positive stuff in my class last year and i every single week with my mentor i'd meet with her and i'm like they're still crazy they're still crazy and i would try it for you know four six weeks and they're still crazy they're still crazy doing all the positive stuff as soon as i put a negative thing up they behave just fine and i was like see it doesn't work um Okay, let's get into... I want to do pens next, but I put them all over in the bag. Okay, so pens, the Papermate flares in the multi-pack. Um, how many's in here? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve. And right as I read it, I saw the number down here. So it's the twelve pack of the Papermate flares. I've heard a lot of really good things about these, so I'm going to give them a try. Um, I've heard they work really good in planners as well, so that's good. And then I got a four pack as well, because you can never have too many pens. As a teacher, never too many pens, because they magically disappear. Is it gonna focus? Is it going to focus? Let's just see if it'll happen. Slowly, slowly. Okay, so they magically disappear um, and you're grading all the time and you have to write feedback on everything and so uh, they run out all the time. Um, I got this Pro Grip Pure White um, from Pilot. It says that it's a ballpoint black pen with advanced ink um, designed for writing comfort. I'm going to open this. Here's the package. Okay. So there's the package. But I'm going to open it up because, I don't know, comfort grips, I like. If it's got a fat, like, body, I actually tend to write better. My handwriting is much better. So I'm going to give this a shot. Because especially when I'm like writing letters and that sort of thing, um, I want my handwriting to be neat when my parents see it. So, yeah, it feels good. Um, I mean, it feels good. It's kind of squishy. I mean, it's not like super squishy. It's more rubbery, but I don't know. We'll give it a shot. I got some G2s. Um, I found these and I like them. They're the G2s, which size? Seven millimeter. They are the fine. I like fine tips and they're in different colors for grading, of course. I don't like to use a lot of red when I'm grading. It seems to have a very negative connotation. So I use a lot of green. I'll use um, a lot of orange or purple. Like I use different colors a lot when I'm grading but I try to stay away from the red as much as possible just because it seems to have a very negative connotation. Um, I've even heard people say like, it looks like 
you bled all over the page because it's just comments and like marks and things like that and so they get really like negative feelings about it and sometimes I'll write a comment and it's not even negative but if they see it in red they think it's negative so then we got and my husband threw this in my cart he thought it would be good it is mechanical pencils they are paper mate super squishy grip they are called vibes and they are number two with a nine millimeter or 0.9 millimeter lead. And so I'm like, what am I gonna do with those? And he's like, well, I don't know. They look cool. So um, let me open them up. This would be another thing that I might actually use as like a prize thing. You know, never know. So. These are much squishier and they got glitter in them, but they are much squishier than the other one was. And it's kind of, can you see this? It's kind of got like a curvature to it. You know, I know it's hard to see, but it's got a curvature to it. So that's really cool. You know what I didn't get that I probably should because I get asked a lot is lead. Didn't get any lead because I don't use them. So this comes in yellow, this comes in blue, neon or lime green, pink, and orange. So those will be fun. I got a protractor compass pack. I don't know, my compass is somewhere, but I lost my little refill and I always feel like I can never have enough. I kind of feel like I need one at home and one at work for the compass. And the protractor, you've seen me use this protractor in my um, planner, plan with me videos because I use it to cut my um, washi tape. It's metal, it's sturdy, I love this thing. And since I got my other one with all my planner stuff, I figured I'd get a new one for school. I don't know why, but for some reason, I really like this idea. They're the triangular crayons. Um, my first Crayola 24 plus months washable easy grip crayons. So they're big, but they're triangular as well, which really does help with the grip. Like when you think about how you're holding your, like, okay, how you're supposed to be holding your pen, right? It's supposed to be held like so, right? This is the correct way they should be teaching in school and I don't think they are anymore um, but it makes like a triangle so it fits it's very comfortable you know <sighs> why I pick it up I don't know something cool maybe there are kindergarten teachers watching this and they're like oh yeah that might be a cool idea help with the grip um got some more glue sticks um, they weren't on like huge sale or anything. There was a much better sale at Office Depot. Um, so I just got two more. I think they were two for a dollar, something like that. So, um, got two more because like I said, I can never have enough. I run out every year. Um, okay. I got Mr. Sketch scented washable sticks. These are markers. I got two of them that glare oh my goodness sorry is there a way there we go not so much glare there um so they're cherry banana mint and blueberry flavor Ooh -hoo. and <clears throat> they are just kind of like a skinny marker and it's the red the green the blue, the yellow. Um, and I got these again for a prize box, treasure box kind of thing. I don't know. I just, they're cute. They're small. Why not? Um, I don't plan on the students using these because all they're going to do is sniff them and then they'll get nothing done in class. And I know this because that's what I did. Um, 
I got these and I was gonna put these um, in the like treasure box, prize box, I don't know, giveaway, something. Uh, um, but these erasers I love, especially for students who tend to erase a lot. Um, let me open it up in case you have never seen or used one of these before. Um, it is a long eraser inside this little dispenser and they have refills for them. Um, I've not seen them really in many more colors than these three, the black, the red, and the blue. Um, but basically what you do is you push down on this and then you, and you get that much eraser, that much eraser. Um, and they erase really well. I used them when I was in college in my college math classes um, on engineering paper um, and they worked really well. So I was thinking about putting those in. Um, I give away erasers, but not those. So then I got one pack because they're very expensive and I like to like spread it out. But I got one pack of the Expo markers, the 16 pack. Um, I like to use a bunch of different colors and I tend to use these colors much more than these colors but I like to use a lot of different colors that way there's like differentiation between what is our engage what is our activity for the day what are what is it you're gonna need what's the homework homework is always in red always always bell work take it out the door um, and even when we're doing notes like I'll put the vocab words in one color and the definitions in another and so that's how we do that. Um, I got one thing, cause I have a bunch at work, but I don't have any colorful ones. I got one thing of paper clips. These are the classic paper clips. The, it has a line over the E, the pencil grip incorporated. I'm like trying to figure that out in my head. It doesn't make sense. The Pencil Grip Incorporated. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's purple, white, blue, green, red. Looks like it. Pink, maybe. And gray, black. So there's a couple different colors in there. But yeah, that was my teacher desk. Teacher desk. All right. <clears throat> Then I got some Avery <clears throat> color coding labels. I was almost thinking, well, a planner, but I was also thinking like IEP meetings in my planner, um, staff meetings in my planner, that kind of thing. So I don't have to keep writing over and over and over again, staff meeting. Maybe I'll just use this as like a little, if there's a green one, it's a staff meeting. If it's a pink one, it's an IEP meeting. Um, I don't know, put the initials of the student who it is, their IEP meeting, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe if I have to change something on my lesson plans, maybe I'll put that on there. I don't know. Um, Tack Fun, Loctite, Molding Putty, Removable and Non-Toxic. I've never used these before. I've always stapled everything to my wall. And like I said, me and the maintenance guy, maintenance guy, he's actually technically called the plant manager, are really good. So even though I put literally probably 5,000 staples in my wall and you pull them out and then it like, he has to go and patch it all, he was fine with that. I mean, he came in before he did anybody else's room and he patched it all up and he's like, we're good to go. Um, but it's just that sticky stuff that you rip off and you put on the paper and you stick it to the wall. Um, it's that gummy stuff, All right? Um, I got, I don't even know how to say this, Ticonderoga, I don't know, but it's an eraser pack. These would go in like the treasure box prize store or whatever. These, I have the caps, I always get a ton of them because I have a jar 
in my classroom on my desk that is full of these little cap erasers and the students can come whenever they need one and they get a cap eraser um and it's funny because at the beginning of the year they're always like um can i borrow an eraser i'm like just take one from the jar and then by the end of the year they're like coming up can i get an eraser <laughs> um but yeah so i always get a bunch of these this has 15 total so that would mean 12 of the cap erasers that'll go in my jar and then the other ones are thing and i got three of those you're not focusing again mm, you're being a pain okay and then like i said i have to fill up a whole jar what is that okay um i have to fill up a whole jar so i got these casemate Pencil topper erasers and multicolors, 25 count. There's white, blue, orange, purple, pink, yellow, and green. So I got those. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Which means I have one, two, three, 150 plus 36, 186. Um, I think I went through a little more than that last year. I think I have 80 students. I had 79 last year, but anyway. Hey, I got some magnets. I have no magnets for my whiteboard. So I got these, they're really cute. Um, U Brands, Magnets Fashion Variety. Designed by you. So you can see yellow stripe. I don't even know. I really need to learn what these things are called like there's designs with like names and I don't know what they're called so those and then the chevron and like the navy blue and white so those will go up on my board all right index cards I mentioned this before I hoard index cards I got two of the sorry wrong way two of the uh, 100 pack large index cards that are four by six these would be in a pinch if i need to like do um vocab frames and i haven't cut my paper for the vocab frames or sometimes if i need a large thing with a picture um for one of my challenges or something i'll do that and then i got the small ones the 100 pack three by fives and I got, I hope they're all lined because I wanted lined, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven of those. So hopefully, cause I've also gotten quite a few throughout the summer. So I'm hoping my my uh, collection is good enough so that when the parents bring theirs for their lists um, of school supplies that they have to bring in, which they have to bring in on Tuesday, so I should have a good idea, um, then it will be enough for the year. All right, I got, I don't even know why I grabbed this. It makes no sense. I think I thought it was something else. I think I thought it was a 10 pack, but it's the eight pack of the like regular Crayola markers, the classic colors. So black, blue, green, colors of the rainbow, yellow, orange, red, purple. And then they add brown in there. Um, yeah, because there are seven colors of the rainbow. Um, then I saw these and I was like, gotta get them. My husband's like, why do you have to get them? I'm like, because you could never have enough colors. Um, I got two of the tropical, uh, what are these? Tropical Colors Color Max Ultra Clean Washable Markers by Crayola. And I'm just going to open this up and show you the colors because then maybe you'll understand why I had to get it. Um, I make my own, um, posters quite a bit. Um, so... I always have my 10 pack of Crayola markers, but it just doesn't seem like enough colors. So they have, do these have colors on them? 
tropical violet. Isn't this pretty? They have parrot pink. Wild orchid. This looks very similar, but it's actually more pink. Same. Um, this is like a peachy color. Sand, sandy tan. Sea foam green. Isn't that pretty? Um, coral reef. Dolphin gray. Where's the color? Turquoise surf. It's about to storm, so the lighting has just got weird. And blue lagoon. I mean, these are gorgeous. And my husband's like, why do you need them? Um, because who doesn't need them, really? Who doesn't need all this? It's beautiful. So that's going to bring my um, anchor charts to another level. So that's exciting. Um, let's see. So I got two of those. They did not have, oh no, I'm missing one. <gasps> I can't do that. This is palm leaf. It was like underneath my pants. Okay. So. Yeah, that's fun. So much fun. Okay, two more things. Um, I got colored pencils. I get, is it the 12 pack? Yeah, I get the 12 pack of colored pencils by Crayola. Um, and I got eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I got eight of them because I have four tables that students sit at 90% of the time. Um, there's usually six to a table. Okay, and um, with six to a table, I usually team them up two to a, like two groups to a table. And um, that way each group would get their own pack. And I have like little boxes that they use. I'm actually thinking about changing that. I may end up going to the dollar store and getting some more like buckets and I'll have like a thing of pencils, a thing of markers, um, that kind of thing. We'll see. Now this was my big haul because they get used so much. Kids are crazy and they wear out fairly easily, fairly quickly. But really when the kids are given a choice between a marker, a colored pencil, and a crayon, they will always pick marker first, colored pencil second, crayons last. And notice I didn't get any crayons because I have probably eight to 10 full, not used from last year, packs of crayons. So I didn't buy any more because parents are gonna be bringing them in again. And so if I need more, I'll have them, but uh. So I got the 10 pack of classic colors by Crayola markers. And you have the brown, the purple, or violet, red, green, yellow, orange, blue, black, gray, and pink. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve of those. And that might last me first semester, if I'm lucky. Right now I have no foldables in my lesson plan for the first unit. So might be okay. Might be able to get away with it for first semester. Um, but my second unit is physics and using a lot of foldables in that. So um, that's it. I can't even show you like I got a big stack. Woo. Big stack. Woo. Um, so that was my haul. Like below. Seriously, like below if you like hauls because my husband is kind of getting on to me and I'm like, no, 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 no. I know people want to see this. So if you want to see more hauls, like the video. Also, if you could um, like tell me something else you want to see me haul. If you want to see me haul more um, planner stuff. If you want to see me haul my groceries. If you want to see me haul even school stuff. I'm going to go clothes shopping. Maybe I'll haul that. That's 
gonna be a fun one, isn't it? Yeah, I might do a fashion show. But anyway, we're ahead of ourselves. Um, so yeah, let me know what you wanna see and until next time, bye.